Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. I'm out here today with Eric. Good morning. It's been a while since he's been on the channel. Happy to have him back out here today. Plan today is to get some Dungeness crab. So it's Christmas Eve. We're trying to get crab for our family for Christmas. So plan today is drop these pots and get back in as quickly as we can. And when I do that, I'm gonna show you how I bring the crab home. And when I get home, what I do with them and how I cook them up. So today we're dropping these Promar hoop nets. We got seven of them and our bait. I'm using these same bags that I've had for the entire year. I've used them, I think this is the fifth time now. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna be adding a little chicken, some anchovies, kind of fresh them up a little bit. But those tuna heads, they're still looking pretty good. So all right, we're gonna start dropping these. We're in 150 feet of water and we're just gonna keep going in closer to about 100 feet and drop them all down. All right, should be a fun one. First one going down. All right, well, there's our last hoop net. It's just threw in right over there. So we got seven of them down. Probably just gonna wait about 15 minutes and uh, then start pulling them. You know, we probably threw the first one about an hour ago. So we got a little bit of soak going. A little discouraging though, radio. People are saying they're pulling up blanks. Not a lot of crab in the area, it sounds like. But hopefully for us, they're eating our bait and we can get some. We only need 20 of them. All right, we'll see you at this first uh, pool here in about 15 minutes. up the first one. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, baby. That's a good one. Oh. Turn it off. Oh my. It's a good first one. All right, well, the second one coming up now, we got 10 keepers in the first pool, so we know we're getting early limits. We're excited now, and this one was pretty close to the last one. First pot, we got 10. Out here? This, one, this one's good, too. So there was a boat in the area when we were pulling this one up. Before they dropped theirs, they wanted to see how we did. <laughs> Another good one. So this is the first female I've caught the entire season out deep here fishing or crabbing. I haven't seen one female yet. Uh, you know, hundreds of crab have gone through. I wonder why that's the only one. And I think about that sometimes. Where are the females? They must, the males must, uh, I think they come in earlier or something I've heard. But uh, it doesn't seem like the males and the females travel together. All right, well, we got 19 keeper crab on the boat already. Let's go pull up these last five. We're jumbo hunting at this point. Ooh. Big radio check on that. Big one. Oh my god. Three big Oh, here it comes. We got color. Wow. Okay. Probably some more good ones in there. Oh, got away. Run away the extra ones there. So we got 20 <laughs> nice big ones. All right. So that's how I bring my crab home. You'll go ahead and uh, keep the 20 in there. Use the salt water that we're getting from here. And I think that's a 20 gallon. So that's how I'll drive them home. But we'll see you guys back on land. Just cleaning off the boat, getting all the salt off. And so yeah, like I said, the crab are all in here. We got it full of the ocean water. Able to close it off with this valve right here. Uh, so the water's not getting out, but it will come out of this hole when I'm driving home. 
So what I'm gonna do right now is stuff a towel in there so when I get home, it's still full of water. I'll show you that when I'm done. All right, while I was doing this, I was thinking how you guys in the comments are gonna criticize me. Yes, I could probably measure that and get some kind of plug and put it in there. But hey, I thought I was creative with my little towel plug here. So anyway, <laughs> that's how I get my crab home. All right, we'll see you at the uh, cracking table. All right, well, I'm back home now. Eric's go ahead and grabbing all the crab out of our uh, live well here. Sometimes when I get home, I'll just plug in this aerator, drop that in there, and I'll just keep the crab in here. Sometimes even overnight they'll last. I uh, haven't had any issues with that, but today we're going to go ahead and uh, start cooking these crab up right away. So we got all the crab laid out now. The table couldn't fit them all because they're so big. So we got four down there. So we're gonna go ahead and just divvy them up right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and use that device and crack them up. Before we crack our crab, we're gonna get our water starting to boil. Um, these are bottles I brought out and filled with salt water. So we're using the ocean water. And I grabbed this water out in the ocean, not you know, by the marina. All right, well now that we got our water starting to boil, let's crack some crabs. So I like to use this thing right here, crack and grab cleaner. And all you do is put the crab on, push down, break apart. And we got a bag for the gills and we'll give it a little shake. Get the guts out. All right, so how you do it, put them in the middle. We're boiling. Woo. Oh yeah. So we'll put the lid on. These ones that aren't submerged up top, they'll steam, but with the bubbles and all the heat, um, they'll definitely cook pretty well in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for about 15 minutes. All right, so we're making an ice bath for it now. Fresh water. There we go. So what this process does is my understanding is it makes it so it comes off well, it slows down the cooking process and then it's going to make it so it, when you crack it apart, the meat slides out really easily. It doesn't uh, stick to uh, the shell. So it stops the cooking process. It makes it easier when you're trying to crack it to eat it. It's time to make our butter sauce. We're gonna be adding garlic, chili powder, and Old Bay, and mix it on low heat in the pot. 